Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be reviewing the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. I'll be giving you my thoughts, showing you an application demo and also going over some swatch comparisons. So if this sounds good to you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Let's start with the facts. This foundation claims to be full coverage, lightweight and it contains antioxidants which protect your skin from pollution. It says it leaves a natural looking finish and it also contains SPF 40. Now here in Australia there are only 10 shades available which is pretty disappointing but it doesn't get much better because I watched the Taylor, now Taylor Wynn, I watched her review on it and she said there are only 16 shades available in the US. The foundation comes with 30 mils of product and it retails for $25.95. All right, let's jump straight into the application demo and I'll talk a little bit more about it. I have normal combination skin. I get a little oily throughout my T-zone here, but I can also get dry around any breakouts. So I am going to use my palette here today to mix this foundation. I do have the lighter shade 110 porcelain, but it's still too dark. It doesn't match up with the shade 110 porcelain in the Fit Me foundation, which is really weird. I will be doing some swatch comparisons towards the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. So I've just got a bit on the palette here and I'll just add a little bit of whitening liquid. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit more of the whitening liquid in here. This does have a very yellow undertone as well, so it's quite warm. I'm not going to color correct or conceal any of my breakouts so you can see the true coverage. On this side, I'll use my brush and this side, I'll use my sponge. So the sponge side it does look more flawless. I feel as though I'm getting the same kind of coverage using either utensil. Utensil? These ain't in the kitchen, sweetie. I feel like I get similar coverage with either tool. My favorite way to apply this is with a brush first and then go over the top with a sponge. So I'm going to go in with another layer. This foundation does build up well. Okay, I know I look very, very ghostly, but let's zoom in and I'll give you a closer look of the finish. I don't think it's full coverage, but it's definitely high coverage. It has covered up my blemishes really well. Even this big one on my neck here, it's done quite a good job at covering that. It builds really well. It doesn't go heavy or cakey. It still has that really nice lightweight, fresh feel on the skin. And I do feel like it looks very natural for the good coverage that it's giving. I do have some breakouts around my mouth here that are quite fresh and it's not clinging to those at all as well. It blends out really easily and there also isn't a heavy fragrance to this foundation. It's just the usual chemical kind of foundation smell. So I have been testing this foundation out, wearing it to work over the last week or so, and it does hold up quite well. I've been getting a good eight hour wear out of it where it still looks good. Once I go over the eight hour mark, it did start to break up a little bit around my hairline and on my chin, but my nose did look great. And that's usually the spot where my foundation wants to break up first. It still looked really flawless on my cheeks and it wasn't clinging to any of my dry breakouts. Now there were a few days where it was really hot and I was sweating from the face a lot and it didn't hold up as well, especially my mustache. You should all know by now if you watch my foundation reviews that my sweaty mustache is like my number one foundation problem and unfortunately it did break up a little bit around that area. But considering it's a foundation that isn't described to be matte or long wearing, it held up well in those conditions. I'll insert a clip now of what the foundation looked like after having it on on a really long hot work day. Okay, I've had the foundation on for nine hours now and 
It's holding up all right. It doesn't look very good in this area. I've been sweating a lot today and it's coming off there. This is always my problem area though. Um, as you can see, I am a little bit shiny. I did use the Touch of Silk Canvas Primer in this area. I feel like my cheeks still look good. I'm just a little bit oily. And as I said, it's coming off here, but for nine hours and for a foundation that isn't matte or claimed to be long lasting, it's holding up. Overall, I did enjoy this foundation. I think it will work better for me once I hit the cooler months and I'm not sweating so much. I agree with the claims that it feels really lightweight on the skin. It does say full coverage, but I would say more of a high coverage because I could still see some of my breakouts peeping through. And as for the anti-pollution claims, well, who knows? I think this foundation looks really beautiful and natural. It's not too heavy on the skin. So if that's something that you're after, I would 100% recommend. It's a great everyday foundation, but if you do live in a climate where it's 30 to 40 degrees, I would probably give it a miss. All right, let's jump into some swatch comparisons. So here we have the Dream cover in 110. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 110. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 102. Here is the L'Oreal True Match in 0.5N Porcelain. And this one here is MAC Studio Fix in NW10. Well, that is all from me today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you're going to try this foundation out for yourself. If there's any other new foundations you would like me to review, also let me know in the comments. I'm really not in the loop at the moment with new releases. So give me some ideas. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your support on my channel. And if you're after any other foundation reviews, I do have an entire playlist. So I will link that in the description box. If you would like more of me in between my uploads, come check me out on Instagram. Otherwise, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.